guys, welcome back to Beauty by Mile. I have missed you guys so, 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 so much. Oh my god. Okay, so before I get into this video, which is my March favorites, which is super late, I know, I'm sorry. Let me explain why. I had mentioned in my, and please excuse my nails, I haven't had a chance to paint them because I haven't had time. <laughs> so, for those of you guys that saw my vlog, you know that I had an event that I was going to be working or a part-time job, I don't remember how I explained it, um, for three weekends. Now, I did not think that I was going to be as tired as I was because I have done school, worked two jobs, like all at the same time. And I just, I was like, whatever, you know, I'll just get this done and it'll be fine. I'll still be able to film. I had some pre-recorded videos and I was like, cool, I have pre-recorded videos. Um, I can just edit them and put them up whenever I have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> that did not happen. And I feel so, 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 so bad. This is the first time. I mean, I've gone, I think, a week or a week and a half before without posting anything. But this is the first time since I started YouTube that I went, I think, almost, if not exactly three weeks without posting a video. And that kills me because... I don't want to be inconsistent like that, like it, I just, it just really, really bugs me and I'm so, 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 so sorry. This event that I was working was the Miami Open. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I live in Florida and now you know that I'm from Miami. <laughs> the Miami Open is this tennis event and um, my friend always works it and I needed a little bit of extra cushion money so I was like, you know what, I'll just work it, it's three weekends. but. It was literally 24 hours each weekend. So I'm working my regular 40 hours with my hour to, to work and hour from work commute. And then on top of that, now I'm gonna add another hour commute back and forth with a 24 hour weekend shifts. So I was so tired. Like every day that I would get home, I was just so exhausted. I did not have a day off for 18 days. Um, I had good Friday off and I honestly just stayed home and slept. I was so tired. It was my intention to get up and film and edit for you guys and it just did not happen and I am so, 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 so sorry about that. Again, that's why I haven't uploaded. I was working my gluteus maximus the frick off. Like it was freaking exhausting. I don't even think I'm going to do that next year. It was fine, but it was just too much for everything that I have going on now. So I'm very, very sorry. Um, I honestly didn't even wear a lot of makeup so the things that I'm gonna show you guys are things that I wore the few times that I did wear makeup or just things that I have been loving like from the ending of February kind of dragging on to March um, I didn't start working this event till the to March 22nd so for the beginning of March I was obsessed with some products and I'm just kind of adding all of that together for you guys so again i am so sorry for not uploading for so long i was just so so busy so so exhausted and i honestly did not have the energy to do anything so i'm done with that things are gonna get right back to normal anyway i need to shut up and start talking about these products because this intro is like 25 minutes long so let's just jump into it now the first thing that i'm going to talk about is this um color switch veramona duo i have the solo and it's just a little sponge like a little spongy thingy and you just use this um to clean out your brushes let me show it to you in action so i'm gonna dip my brush into a black shadow oh my god i'm gonna dip my brush into a black shadow you guys can see He's black. Let me add some more so it could be more pigmented. Okay, so that's that. And then, when you're done with this, if you wanted to use another shade on the same brush, you can just swirl it. And what it does is that it cleans the brush. Which is awesome because um, before I didn't have a lot of blending brushes, I didn't have a lot of brushes, period. So I feel like if you have a set like a specific set of brushes that you use all the time and you don't always wash them right away I feel like this is really really good now this is $16 I know that it's 16 bucks and it comes with a refill of the little spongy thingy I have heard and I've known and I've seen that those little um it looks like a big fat scrunchy or it's like a little round donut it's a little hair donut with a little circle and people put it in to make like the perfect bun um, I've heard that those 
just as long as that there's they're this material I've heard that they're also really really good at doing the same exact thing and they're like seven dollars at Target or at I, I guess anywhere that they sell hair stuff so that's a good alternative for this if you guys are interested in trying this you can try that and I think that it pretty much does the same exact thing but yeah I have really been using this a lot because I've been lazy and and I just don't want to dirty that many brushes so I love that now talking about brushes I don't think I've ever mentioned like my favorite brushes on my channel and I have been loving this one I have been loving since like February but I fell in love with it late February so I didn't want to mention it but this is amazing this is a Sonia Kashuk uh, blending brush and I don't remember who I saw on YouTube using this and just like ranting and raving about this and this was a while back and I just went ahead and picked it up because this is six dollars and it is such an amazing blending brush like it's a really good buffing brush so it really really blends out whatever you put on the crease whatever you put on the outer V like I use this to blend the shadow <laughs> on my outer V and I just love the way it blends it's flawless it's crazy good it doesn't shed I love it so much that I bought two more so this is definitely a brush that I recommend and it's just their blending brush and then I got this brush um, maybe like a month or two ago and it's the Morphe MB23 and this is just like a really fluffy brush it's kind of but not really like the Sigma E40 well actually it is like the new Sigma E40 because the new one that I, I just got another Sigma E40 and it's a lot less fluffy than the first Sigma E40 that I had so it kind of looks like this but it's just a fluffy blending brush and I use this to put my transition shade and to kind of just go back in and blend everything out any shadow that I would add so I really have been loving this It's super soft super fluffy I've washed it it doesn't shed and yeah I love these two honestly the Sigma E40 sheds like freaking crazy on me but I like it so I, I bought it again but I'm gonna get like two more of these because this is another one that's like five or six dollars and these are so good and so affordable and so soft so I've been loving these two brushes I'm talking really really fast because I have a lot of crap to show you guys okay for my brows now as you as I mentioned I have been super 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 busy so my brows are lucky if they get my face is lucky if it gets any makeup put onto it at all throughout the week so for days that I had to go to like for every day that I had to work I was like oh I gotta look a little bit presentable so I would put the um gimme brow and this is from benefit and it is in I think medium yeah medium deep and it's just this little tiny um tinted brow gel I guess it's like I don't know how to explain it it has like fibers that attach to your eyebrows and it kind of fills them in in a very subtle way so it's a really tiny wand which is what I love the most about it because it gets right in there and it doesn't like apply too much product it doesn't smear so I really really like this um, it lasts pretty much all day it smells funky that's the only thing I don't like Ugh, it smells really really strong but it's a really really good product and it's a product that I really recommend if you're somebody that's always on the go and always rushing my friend here on YouTube Michelle um, her channel is M mini Mishi <laughs> Ugh. Um, I'll link her down below so that because it's you have to spell it a certain, I'll spell it for you guys down below um she was I think this is the product she was talking was this the product they were talking about Michelle I think so um, this is the Maybelline Define a Brow and she was like going off about how much she loves this and I really haven't tried many um, eyebrow products from the drugstore like eyebrow pencils and stuff but this one's really good this is what I actually use to fill in my brow today um, and this is in the shade medium brown and this is what the little pencil looks like it's pretty thin um, not as thin as the Anastasia and the NYX one, but it is very thin, like thin enough, I think. And it fills in like bigger areas at a time, which is what I love about it because this is like my on the go, in a hurry kind of brow pencil. Um, I would put a little, if I, if I had the time, I would put a little bit of this and this one, or I would just do either or. I really, really do like it. The medium brown is a little bit lighter than my brows, which is what I like because my brows are really dark. They're very sparse, but very dark. So I like it. Um, the texture is nice and waxy. It holds on. It lasts, for a drugstore product, it lasts a fairly 
good amount of time on the eyebrows. However, I do always set with the Anastasia Clear Brow Setting Gel. So I don't know if that's what extends the time, the wear time of this, but it's six bucks, you guys, at Target. So um, I recommend it if you guys want to try eyebrow pencil. I like this little comb to brush up my eyebrows, but not to um, blend out the product. What I do use, um, if you guys are looking for uh, an affordable spoolie and want to try out a spoolie, I find that the e.l.f. one from the regular line, the dollar line, it's not that bad. Um, it's pretty good, and that's actually what I use to blend out my product today. So yeah, I've been loving this. I recently got a nice amount of products from Stila because they had a sale for spring I think so I went ahead and picked up some products that I've been wanting to try for a long time and I never have and the first thing is the Stila kitten eyeshadow this has been loved by so many people and I've always been curious but whenever I go to the store the testers like my Ulta or whatever the testers for kitten is never there Either they don't have the shadow or the little duo one is like, they don't have it. So, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. And now I see it everywhere to test it, but I don't regret it. This eyeshadow is freaking huge. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that sheen. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. And look at that. Oh. That's actually... Um, what I used to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner today because the rest of the eye look is matte But I also use this to highlight My cheekbones and I just love The highlight that it gives I just love how it illuminates your face, but it illuminates your face in a very like Romantic angelical kind of way. It is such a beautiful eyeshadow slash highlight it's perfect the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Stila eyes are the window shadow palette and this is in mind i'm trying not to blind you guys because of my ring light i love the packaging of this i love that it's just all gold and it just feels nice and fancy it has a, a monster size mirror and then i love i love when palettes do this is that weird i love that i can set it however i want to and this one's nice and like firm where it stays wherever the frick i put it so i love that I know that's weird, but I love it. This is beautiful. I have been eyeing this mainly for this freaking orange shade. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, these are on matte. And the reason why I didn't get it is because I feel like most of these shades I have. Um, maybe not exactly to the T, but I have a lot of similar shades. But when I got it for 25% off, I was like, hey, why not? And I got it. Today I use this shade and this shade and I think all these shades. I don't know how I put so much eyeshadow on my eyes, but I love it. The, all the colors are very, very, very pigmented, but they're very smooth. Very smooth. I like them a lot. This is great quality. You guys see my mess? Look at my mess. <laughs> this is a great quality eyeshadow palette it is so good I love my mattes you guys know this and I had to get my hands on it it's just amazing I've been using it every single day um I just I love it would, would you guys hate me if this video is 25 minutes long or like 30 minutes long I'm sorry <sighs> I have a lot of crap to talk about like a lot so the body shop in shade 01 light matte and this is their honeycomb bronzers which I think is so cute now, honestly, this could be a face powder for some people, but for me, it's it works good to bronze. It's what I have today on top of the contour. Um, I have it like around the perimeters of my face to bronze up, and it lightly warms up your face, which is what I love. It's not too much. It's a very neutral bronzer. It's not too warm. It's not very cool. It's just a really, really nice balanced shade, and they're so smooth but so pigmented. I... You can't even see it. Let's swatch a little harder there so you guys can see. Can you guys see that? It's just a very beautiful, subtle, like everyday kind of bronzer. Powder is amazing. It's so easy to blend. Like it's just like this was my everyday bronzer. If I put a little bit of mascara, filled in my brows, gave myself a little bit of life because I'm I'm pale. Um, 
I would just throw this a little bit over my face and it was just so easy to look alive wearing this. I love this. This is a really, really, really good bronzer. Highly recommend that. Um, then when I got fancy or had time to get fancy, I used this. This is expensive. This little bad boy is $45. And this is the Marc Jacobs Instamark, hashtag Instamark Mirage Filter. They have three of these. They have like a lighter shade, which is, has more pinky stuff, and have the middle shade, which is this one, and then the deeper shade. Now, the reason why I got this one is because the shades are what called out to me the most. It has a really big mirror. Oh, look at me there. Really, really big mirror. And the product is really big. Or at least it appears to be big. <laughs> You get a highlight shade and you get a contouring shade. And I really, really like the contouring shade because I feel like sometimes you get these duos, but the contour shade is very, very warm. But this one is not. It's very nice and cool. I feel like if your skin is really fair, this can look a little muddy because on me, I have to be careful not to add too much because it can look a little bit muddy because of the shade. Um, but if I put a little bit of bronzer over it, it like works out fine. At least I think so. Let me know. I love the um, the texture of the powders. They're very like, it feels very velvety, very velvety and very smooth and it blends super easy. I love it. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Oh, my swatching is not good today. So that's it right there. And then this, I love to set my under eye. It's just really, really, really smooth. Very, very pigmented, very, very brightening. And again, they feel like butter. So that's these two right here. I've just been loving this, loving this, loving this, loving this. I use it to set cream contours. I've used it as a contouring powder by itself. I use it to set my under eye. I use it to clean up my, like the bronzer and then to clean it up so I can highlight this portion of my face. And I've just been loving it. It's just, it's my first Marc Jacobs product. But once, when I saw it, I was like, this is nice. And I think that I, the first person I heard talk about this was Miss Lola Lynn here on YouTube. And I don't know, like she just sold me on it. So I love this. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's great. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duos. And these are very new, but not really. <laughs> I had to get number two before I got number one. I want to get number one because the highlight shade is gorgeous. But you guys, look at this. Look at this. So I've heard that this is a dupe. Do you guys see this intense ass highlight? Sorry. This is, is crazy. Let me show you. Oh my lord. A lot of people say, and I've seen Swatch, that this is a dupe for MAC Whisper of Guilt and for Estee Lauder Heat Wave. Now, unfortunately, I never got my hands on those and I highly regret that, but this is, I wasn't, I was not gonna let this like sell out before I got it. And I know, I don't think it's limited edition, I think it's permanent, but I needed it, like now. It's beautiful, the highlight is out of this freaking world, like it's just the most beautiful thing in the world. Kinda wanna get a backup because I'm a psycho, but you know. You guys know how I do, like, you know. Now, this is, it says it's a contouring shade. This is not a contouring shade. This is a bronzing shade. Um, this is definitely a, a beautiful highlight. And this is worth the $39 just for the highlight. I wish the whole damn thing was a highlight. But this is not bad. A lot of people are kind of bashing on this. And I don't think it's that bad, to be honest with you. It's pretty good. Like, it's very, very orange. Like, very orange. But keep in mind that summer is coming and it I've used it before. Like I feel like when you dip a brush into it, it doesn't apply the product as harshly as it looks when it's swashed. Swashed? When it's swatched. And I really like how it looked to warm up my skin. Like I, I think one time I used this to contour and then I put a little bit of that over and it just looked really nice. The highlight is worth it all. Like it really, really is. Bronzer's okay, highlight is life. Anyway, <laughs> now this next product is from Kiko Cosmetics. And this is my first Kiko Cosmetics product. I actually went in there looking for eyeshadow number, the water eyeshadow and number 208 because I heard it was a dupe for um, Whisper of Guilt and they were sold out. So I was just kind of browsing. It was the first time I've been into a Kiko store. 
I didn't even know that Miami had Kiko stores, but apparently they do. They only have one. And I wanted to pick up this blush because it's just, it looks like a beautiful everyday natural kind of blush. And this is in the shade 102. And it's just a really pretty everyday blush. It's the blush that I'm wearing today. And I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's nicely pigmented. It blends nicely. Um, it lasts a decent amount of time. These blushes are $12. I don't regret the purchase at all. I've really been using the crap out of this. Is this one right here? It's very, very pretty. You can lightly dust it or build it up. So I have been really using the crap out of that blush, especially for every day. For everything that's been going on and I need just kind of quick makeup. This was this was great. I remember putting this video in a haul like a while ago but I don't remember if I ever talked about this maybe I have I don't know but this is the elf high definition under eye setting powder it says that it's in the shade sheer I don't know if that's the only shade but this is really nice I have it under my eyes I've been using it a lot more lately um because besides my mac pro longwear concealer everything creases under my eye and I've been trying to try see if maybe different setting powders help prevent that more yeah okay this is just a really fine um powder you guys can see it it's really really finely milled it feels like like nothing under the eye it just sets everything so nice so airbrushed looking and you guys are not gonna be able to see it but it really really helps my eye to not crease and this chunk is three dollars i want to try the um laura mercy a under eye brightening Thing. but so far this has been working wonders and I love it and I highly recommend it the only thing um, and I think I said this in my haul the first time I mentioned it is that it has glitters when you put it under the eye a lot of people say that you can't see it eventually you can't see it when you put it under the eye and you pack it on you can see those stinking glitters like just Edward Cullen away in my face but after a while especially like once I set my face after everything's kind of blended in um you don't see them anymore so if you want to try a under eye setting spray setting spray setting powder definitely give this one a go if you have not already nyx butter lipstick and i don't have any of these but this is in the shade pops explosive this is gorgeous it's so i was so so surprised by the quality like the pigmentation of this i have their matte lipsticks and i love their soft matte lip creams and I just love them but this is really good I don't know why I thought it was just gonna slide right off my lips but it didn't this is beautiful I would just put this in my purse take it on the go it's my kind of shade is like that mobby pink nude esque I think love it love it love it love it it's just so moisturizing so nice it has good pig pigmentation but not too much where it can be layered over like lip liner to look more fabulous or it can be put on by itself if you just want like a nice soft color or wash of color on your lips i just it's beautiful i'm glad that this is the one that i got in my bag some people got the raspberry one and i didn't even know that this one was an option but i'm glad this is the one that i got so love that another nyx product that i have is one of their high voltage lipsticks and this is in the shade stone now out of all of them this is the only one that i wanted i saw them swatch they're all beautiful they're all nice but this is the only one that i was like yes let me have you but these are a lot creamier they're just creamy lipsticks that's that one right here it is beautiful it's such a beautiful shade such a beautiful nude it's amazing they're very very pigmented they're very very creamy they don't last that long on the lips um you will have to reapply it I don't want to say throughout the day, but take this is one that you, if you want to keep this color on all day, you definitely have to take it with you, just like this one. Um, but the colors are so beautiful that I don't care. I love them. Look at these two. Just want to wear these all day long. So you guys, that's it. That does it. Finally, I'm sorry this is so long, but these are all my March favorites, and it's kind of come over into april but i absolutely love these products i highly recommend every single one of them they're awesome and yeah thank you guys so much for being patient with me and for understanding that mama was busy please 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 subscribe if you have it um it means 
so much to me as you guys already know the spiel and you know you guys know i've been doing like a favorite makeup look of the day of the month but i really didn't do anything glamorous to be honest with you guys so i don't really have a makeup favorite thing if you guys want to see like an everyday makeup on the go kind of thing then let me know and i'll definitely do that um but that's kind of what my thing was for the past month so yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye